Luke Duncan here at Baitworks, Springfield, Missouri, and I've got my pro pick for the month of August. We're gonna go do a little shopping and we're gonna mix it up a little bit. I'm thinking in August in the South, it's really good for one thing that's sitting by a swimming pool, not bass fishing because they're not biting. But if you go up north, north of the Mason Dixon line, there's some brown bass up there. Absolutely get angry and bite. So we're gonna show you my picks for going up north. And you know, this goes without saying. If you're not throwing max scent and you're not throwing a flatworm up there, are you really even smallmouth fishing? Those fish really react to scent and this bait has taken the world by storm in the last couple of years. It imitates a goby perfectly on a drop shot. Drop shot, so you're gonna want that max scent flatworm. I like anything green pumpkin based, so just a straight green pumpkin. It's great. This guy right here, smoke. It looks, it's it's a really dark smoke, but this gold flake, those smallmouth really drives them crazy. So, you gonna throw that in the basket, right? You don't even have to go far. You don't have to go far at Baitworks to get in the goods. I'm gonna give this one away. Some people watching this might be like, are you really giving away a secret? But I, I, this this came from up on high. One of my favorite smallmouth fishermen, Jeff Gustison, Gussy on the Elite Series, showed me this several years ago. Hula stick by Z Man. It's a mix of a tube and a head bait. It's that elastic, so you put this thing on a net head. But smallmouth and spotted bass, but smallmouth in particular, cannot stand the hula stick. Peanut butter and jelly is a really good killer. But I'm going to show you one of my favorites the deal this color i've caught them on this color all over the country but it's a mix of green pumpkin and almost a blue glimmer so it gives you that bluegill bait fish profile like a shad and ly that a lot of those fish are eating up there and i guess it just kind of depends on which side they swim up on you know maybe they think it's a crawfish on one side but that color right there is magic so i'm gonna want to throw some of those in the basket all right i'll show you one more and this is one that i really don't want to show you but hey, why not? Shop. This is the most fun way to catch smallmouth bass when they're up shallow, and they do get shallow in August. They zoom fluke. Right here, get you some pearl white zoom flukes, put that thing on a 3 alt trocar EWG, some 12 pound line, and go have yourself a blast because those smallmouth, they get to cruising up around shallow bars, shallow points, rock piles especially early in the morning, that flu. You get to watch every single one of them visibly come up and get it. There's nothing like it in the sport of bass fishing. Get you some of these baits, get up north, hook up, look, tell your boss, I quit, it's too hot in the south. Go catch you some big brown bass in August on these baits and get them from Baitworks.